you too what is up man it's your boy bj coming to you guys for episode five and also uh the final episode of our taiwan series so here i'm actually picking up at the end of episode four due to the fact that i was just like man tuesday was already a long day as you guys saw but it was even longer because we ended up um trying out the subway station for the first time and also going to a bowling alley so the entire day of tuesday was the equivalent of two of these episodes to be honest but i'm not really going to have a cap length on this video it's just however much stuff i get into it that we did it's all going to be in this episode so it may be a longer video so if you guys stand to the end i definitely appreciate you but um yeah pretty much uh we went to the subway station as you can see and kind of the layout of it reminds me of hartfield's jackson um airport in atlanta when you go to the the terminals kind of how you have to take the train to wherever uh, terminal you're going to that's kind of like the vibe it gave for the train station but um yeah i think all in all the train ride was maybe 20 or so minutes um till we got to our destination so it wasn't too bad at all very smooth um transition going into it but officially once we got off of the train uh of course we had no idea where we were uh but luckily like we had um a very very intelligent guy showing us around and uh got the sightsee and just be kids pretty much man uh <laughs> when in taiwan you can play on the playground why not so uh as you can see the listerine bottle i had we stopped by the store picked up some stuff and then just kind of went around and sight saw the city on the way to the um the bowling alley but uh yeah well how long tuesday was we got hungry again and tried to and tried to just uh make it through honestly <laughs> so we went to a street vendor and i got fried eggs uh alongside i think i tried something else but i really can't remember um but yeah it was pretty good so once we finally make it to the bowling alley um uh, it's very layered um you go down the flight of stairs and then you go down more stairs uh they had levels on levels of arcade bowling alley they're just like it was honestly pretty impressive it caught me off guard with how much uh stuff was going on especially how late it was because i think it was man it had to be probably 12 or 1 a.m at this point but overall i will say that uh the trip to the bowling alley was worth it uh we got some nice pictures so i'm gonna post those on the screen and show you guys a little photo op we had so shout out to my dog bill uh for shooting uh yeah so they had like a top 10 leaderboard or whatever they had a few 300 games so it's pretty cool but i'm gonna let you guys listen to this on the way home this was hilarious Frank, where you go to sleep for what you say mm -hmm. hold on now you, you you picking on me a little bit no i'm not okay in the back like I heard it. Uh huh. And then what? What'd you say? You say. Uh huh. All right, now, Lord, I need to get up. Uh, and the, you need what? I need double rest. Double sleep. Yeah, yeah same difference. I need double sleep. Double sleep. Uh huh. So that's how I work. But you gotta pray. Mm -hmm. so whatever time you gonna go to bed. Uh, how sleep. many hours you sleep? You say you want two hours. You sleep. You got three hours sleep. What is? I got three hours of sleep. I think you give me six. Oh my God. Cause what? You got that? Cause I got that double sleep. Double sleep. See, I'm, I'm in my mind too. Yeah. But I the said, spirit heard it. I said, see, cause your spirit, uh, it bear witness. Got that so you did feel it in your shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit, bye, 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 bye. See. <laughs> oh shit. I know. I love my See, guy. I slept. For, I was asleep for about 20 seconds. But I felt like I slept for hours. See. Double sleep. That's why I don't woke up rejuvenated. Rejuvenated. The spirit of high woo bye. Oh. Bye. <laughs> bye. My bye bye. When I hit that beach. I might baptize myself. But the only thing is according to our girl Laura Spanish. You can't get on the beach. Yeah, that's what The beaches said, are unex they are unaccessible. So we said this time it's on here. rocks. So guys, if you heard LJ and Stu talking about the beach trip uh that is how we capped off um our last day in taiwan so woke up super early after that late night and headed to the beach as well as just like um trying to get a sense of like the realization that we we're about to go home but like i said the beach definitely helped um alleviate all of that sadness um so as we were driving to the beach you can see like the waves are very choppy 
um, and LJ and Stu also mentioned that we were not able to walk on the beach, unfortunately, just because of the season and the time of year that we went. But overall, the view was still spectacular. You guys are going to see all of that coming up here shortly. Just going to um, show you guys uh, a little like roll footage and just kind of uh, cap it off like that. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy the view for a second and I'll check back in in a minute. Oh my god, this might be the thumbnail. <laughs> that is crazy. Sheesh. Wow. So guys, you can see we are on this little rocky kind of area where um, everyone was gathering around taking pictures. And so uh, this area was super cool, man. Honestly, it felt like something out of a movie, but uh, just a super nice area where uh, you could kind of just, like I said, travel and look at the rocks and stuff like that. We took a good amount of pictures over in this area. So I'll let you guys look at a few of those real quick. Um, and yeah, like I said, super dope area um, for everyone to just uh, get a chance to enjoy all the dope scenery that was around us. Um, but yeah, I couldn't get enough of this place, man. I feel like time really went by in slow motion while we was here. Like, I, I really forgot how long we was here, but it just, I don't know, it was very peaceful. Like, anything by water, of course, but also just the whole vibe of the area was um, really one that was unforgettable. So... Uh, if you're ever in Taiwan, I definitely recommend this beach. I cannot even remember the name of it off the top of my head. Uh, if any of you guys are familiar with Taiwan um, and remember or this looks familiar to you, please comment down below where exactly I was at. Uh, so, uh, yeah, as you guys can see, I'm doing like a full uh, this overlay shot of the entire island or the beach area that we were on and uh yeah man like i said breathtaking so i'm going to catch you guys up on this little trail um that they had um so pretty much this led to a very popular uh tourist spot as you can see by the line and uh, a lot of people was just kind of posted up here ready to take pictures so i kind of didn't have the patience for it i'm not going to lie so i just decided to dip off and uh go check out other parts of the beach and i'm glad i did because as you can see the scene was amazing um finally once we left from there there was a market set up side of the um of the beach but i'm going to let you guys check in and uh hear kind of what we're talking about as we were going through the market and uh the experience that we had so i'm gonna let you guys have a quick listen in yep <laughs> mama go get her mag where oh what is that hey do you do a apple pay just cash. Just cash. Uh, you can pay the US dollar. Okay. US what is, dollar. You say US dollar. US dollar. Man, I don't have two US dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but I just see this one. Two, this two, two, two US dollars and this one. You like ginger? No. That, dude, this right here don't taste bad. You got ginger tea? Ginger tea. Ginger tea. Oh. Okay, I got jelly in it. So what do you do this up? That is fire. Uh, one piece, one cup, hot water. Okay. Hot water? So it's one piece in with hot water. How much? One piece, two hundred, three pieces, five hundred. How money? How much? Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. So yeah guys, I had to cop some of that ginger tea as well as you saw the magnet. Pretty much anytime I travel anywhere, uh, it's kind of custom at this point where I just bring my mom a magnet back from wherever I went to. Uh, so yeah, end up grabbing the ginger tea, uh, loved it. And then once we left from the little market area, we went to a restaurant. As you can see, they had a little uh, turtle set up uh, 
yeah so that was that um leaving from leaving from the restaurant slash beach we headed up this huge mountain and we went to a um historical gold mine from back in the day uh apparently taiwan was a massive place for gold extraction and i had no idea the significance that it held to the island but um that was a great history lesson for me just learning more about the island itself and kind of um all of the resources that it uh, possesses so uh we did a quick little tour of the gold reserve or a gold mine um and i'm gonna bring you guys along for the journey of that but uh as you can see uh they had statues outside of uh gold miners kind of a uh, very dope symbolism um on the inside they had different minerals kind of set up inside of the museum as well as this huge gold bar back here um that they show the conversion rate of how much it would um be worth in taiwanese dollars as well as the u.s conversion rate um yeah it, it was a lot of money it's a pretty big gold bar uh but yeah i think they did the conversion rate from um the year 1942 or whatever but uh yeah once we left from that uh area i went to the gift shop picked up these playing cards from my uncle as well as my brother um they were super cool decked out all gold playing cards um and they loved them when i brought them back to the state so they have those um in their case as you can see he's unwrapping it for me so uh yeah we bond over playing spades and poker so i thought it would be a nice little gift to give to the fam and they enjoyed it so uh yeah that's my gift shop a uh, quick little purchase but uh gonna check back in with you guys as we get ready to explore the tunnel so here we go Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, my God. So guys, once we left from the um, gold mine, we headed down this mountain and it was actually a school like built into the mountain. Uh, and we ran into a group of kids and they were super cool, man. Like they just wanted to take pictures with us. And so, uh, yeah, we ended up grabbing a quick flick with the entire gang that was outside. And uh, man, that's probably one of the best memories of the entire trip. Um, so they wanted Stu and everyone else to sing. So I uh, ended up doing a few of Stu's songs and uh, just chopping it up with some of the kids, man. So that was a, a dope experience. And honestly, one of the, my favorite highlights of the entire trip was getting to interact with these students down here. As you can see, the picture we took with them was, uh, was pretty cool. So uh, once we uh, wrapped that up, uh the day was not over we finished up with a dinner at top hey 101 so i'm going to shoot over there real quick and uh catch up with you guys Alright guys, once I made it to the mall, I had to actually buy a carry-on because I bought too much stuff over in Taiwan. So yeah, I had to make sure I had uh, something to carry all my stuff back home with me. But uh, like I said, the mall is so massive. As you guys saw the last episode with the nine floors, uh, once I went shopping, we went upstairs to this restaurant where we had our farewell dinner um and yeah man food was absolutely delicious as you can tell the environment we had the dinner in was very upscale and magnificent however man the prices were astoundingly cheap comp like considering how much stuff we got so um yeah man that, di that dinner was 
phenomenal. Uh, we all pretty much gave a toast as well as speeches about what all we enjoyed. And uh, yeah, man, that that joint was it was lovely. So uh, it was great. Gary, Gary, Gary man. my dog Gary. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Be careful. Peace out. You are our friend. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Bye, Bye Gary. Gary. Oh, all right, YouTube. So this is pretty much everything that I bought while I was here. Uh, shoes, jacket, bag, shirts, uh, bag, souvenir stuff, the slingshot, the look, purse, thing from Mom Deuce, hoodies, pullovers, the gifted tee, the LV cologne, the tees, the gifted tees, like just yeah. So, full overview of everything we end up getting. Yeah, so I would say nice haul overall. You guys saw everything I bought when I recorded it, but this is just a nice, concise version. So, your boy kind of, kind of went a little bit. Yeah. A what? Flavor of that, that bubble tea. Oh what, yeah. What, 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 the maple stuff. It was good, but it was that. Love. All right, guys, like I said, it was our last night, so we did want to go out and kind of just enjoy ourselves. So we ended up finding um, this restaurant slash late night bar that did karaoke, and uh, it was super dope. The girls got up and sung um, a couple of songs, and then once we wrapped up with that, man, we pretty much just uh, chopped it up with the owner of the bar. He really loved uh hearing about us from the states and stuff so that was a super cool interaction just been able to um have that that time with locals so uh i'm going to catch back up with you guys in the room once we made it back to the hotel here we go Ooh, yo youtube was good it's the last day was well, the morning of so we're about to head out you see the sun is coming up we're heading out to the airport i think we have to meet downstairs like 6 40 or something like that um, so in a few, I think like the next hour or so, we're gonna head downstairs, but we are packed and ready to go. Got our chip bag, our carry-on, and our personal item. Uh, everything is good to go. So we're heading to the airport. I will get some B-roll footage once we head downstairs of that. But I uh, just give you guys a heads up that it is finally the last day in Taipei, Taiwan. It has been wonderful. But uh, yeah, just gonna give you guys a quick heads up and a quick check-in um, before we head to the airport. So, see you guys then. Oh, okay. All right, YouTube, man, we are finally heading back home. So, uh, once I left from Taipei, I flew into uh, San Francisco and then from San Francisco back into Nashville. So, pretty much the same as that flight pattern I had. Very easy, very seamless. Uh, I just want to thank everyone for all the support um on these videos i know the spacing of them was crazy but man your boy i was committed to getting this series done so i have a lot of content i've been filming since um i've moved to nashville that's going to get released to you guys but um yeah all i can say is thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to uh share this journey with you guys thankful to everyone on the taiwan trip i don't want to start naming names so i'm going to forget uh but pretty much everyone so uh landing into san francisco this was probably one of the greatest flights um i've ever had as far as landing in like on the bay bro this landing was beautiful but i'm going to check in with you guys in nashville and sign off love you guys your boy bj peace oh you too what's good uh just made it back to the crib in nashville uh me and my boy quads got some food so uh gonna start unpacking all that good stuff hope you guys enjoy the trip man um finally got to vlog some international content uh shout out to Stu for inviting me 
having me out and trusting me um, with such um, with such a task. So uh, like I said, just glad I was able to be a part of it. Glad I got to meet all the fellow um, content creators, videographers, musicians, um, just everyone. So I really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, so I guess you guys uh, can have any questions, like just hit me up, comments, uh, anything. So the boy BJ signing off. I love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe for more content. Uh, man, we're on this journey to becoming a full-time musician, guys, and it's happening. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.